All right, um, I was sharing that out on Facebook, um, so I'm starting late. Uh, but anyways, I wanted to talk about uh, about Jeff Sessions, Attorney General, resigning today because President Trump asked him for his resignation. Uh, a good appointment to replace uh, uh, former U.S. Attorney Jeff Sessions as Attorney General would be Mr. Uh, Clayman, or Larry Clayman, uh, from uh, from Freedom Watch, also the founder of uh, Judicial Watch. But it would be really nice because he'd be the pit bull lawyer or attorney that could dig out the corruption uh, of the swamp in D.C. and the rest of the country because there's all kinds of crimes going on that, uh, you know, have been ignored. All kinds of them. You can see, uh, well, Mrs. Clinton right right now should be um, wearing an orange jumpsuit at some federal institution. And uh, several FBI people should be the same. Plus what they did to the Bundys. What the U.S. Attorney's Office did to the Bundys is horrible. Oh, by the way, what they did to me was horrible. They prosecuted me over my mining claim and got me 30 days in jail because I was exercising my property rights and uh, I didn't ask by their leave, which I'm not supposed to have to. Um, so what I like to see is justice for we the people. And we are, we the people, as keepers of the republic, have a duty to defend the Constitution. So does everybody that works as a public trustee. Remember, they're trustees. They're supposed to uh, handle themselves accordingly to the Constitution. Because, see, <coughs> John Adams and John Quincy Adams had an idea that we need an active people, we the people, to keep and hold the republic for an, um, what is it, uh, John Quincy Adams held, uh, 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 was considered the holder or the, um, the keeper of the oath. So John Adams, his father, was bringing the keepers of the republic. In fact, it was an educational thing they did for everybody in the military at the time. Uh, of course, see, Richard Nixon moved that, to, or Carter or somebody, moved that to the Department of Education and took it away from the military because it used to be taught in the military. Not only that you were oath keepers to keep your oath, but that you were a keeper of the Republic. You were defense against foreign and domestic enemies of the Constitution and the Republic of the United States. So I would ask for people to go to whitehouse.gov and write them and ask uh, President Trump to appoint Mr. Larry uh, Clayman from Freedom Watch. Because he, well, I don't know if Congress, uh, Senate will approve him or not, but it would be worth a try. I think we could twist enough arms to get enough Republican senators to confirm him. If we confirm him, he's the pit bull. He's the lion. Uh, uh, he's the guy that would do it because he's he's got the knowledge in his head. He knows the difference between right and wrong. He knows the Constitution, and he would uphold it. So I ask you, will you be come join me in this fight to get Mr. Larry Clayman appointed Attorney General of the United States, and that would be uh, that would be really good. And I'm going to be signing off. Have a good day.